Just a reminder here to stay safe out here in the quarantine. Please stay home. Like, subscribe, and share the content that you hear here on the Porn Stars of People podcast. We appreciate you. Check out our Patreon to support directly. Thank you so much for using us as your listening choice in such a weird and stressful time, guys. Porn Stars People podcast. I'm here with Lauren Phillips. Hey. The LP. Uh, <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you for doing this. No yeah, this is great. Yeah, you got all the things. All of it. I'll show the things. Show the things. Well, so what's going on? You've been here a day. We've been we've been we've been off we've been off cam talking a little bit. You've been yeah, here a day. Just a day. How's that? That's you good. Sh- you shot already? Yeah, I did a boy girl girl for Team Ski. Boy girl girl. All so right. So boy and then two girls. Yep. Three songs. It's, it's too. <laughs> it's like when you when I'm on my fifth interview of the day, I can't do math anymore. You're like so boy girl girl. I was like, and then is there another girl? <laughs> Like, because you want there to be another girl. Yeah. Well, you always want there to be a, a, th- right. a fifth girl. Right? There has yeah. to be, like, a... There has to be more girls than guys, usually. Yeah. Like, three girls yeah. and a guy. There's no such... Th- there's, there's, no, there's no reciprocal expression for the expression... Um, uh, sausage Fest. There's no <laughs> there's no version of that where it's too many girls. Right? Yeah. There's no taco fest. No, there's no expression, I, right? I, you know what? I, I agree because I love tacos. Somebody goes... Somebody there's goes, never too many tacos. Never too many tacos. <laughs> somebody goes, this is a sausage fest. Everybody knows exactly what that means. There's yeah. no There's no like, oh, there's too many Because you can always there. too many sausage. There's way too many yeah. sausage, yeah. You can never have too many tacos. Though. Yeah. Especially pink tacos. That's real. That's real shit. <laughs> All right, so you live in LA. How'd you get here this trip? I drove. You did? Yeah. How's that? It was long. It was four hours. Yeah. Is that, is that's a haul. You got to go through the desert. Yeah, I call that the black hole. <laughs> what's yeah? Is for after LA, w- th- is there nothing until Vegas? What's the what's no, in between? Like, I did it like, once. There's a couple of spots, but then there's like this long trail of nothing. Of nothing. And what's that? And so and so it, like it's just a bo- you were alone. It's just a desert. It's no, just a boring I, was, I was with somebody. Oh. I had a friend come with me. I, all right. I didn't drive all the way. Yeah. You know, you had, you had to make someone do the drive. You say Not four yet. to me, and that's that's short. I, like like most of my days are like do a show and then drive six hours. So four is short. But well, for people that don't drive, four is a fucking haul. You have to consider also, like, if I think about it, like I drove from New Jersey to Florida. That yeah. was a sixteen hour drive by myself. You did that in a one I shot. I did that three times. In one shot. I d- I, I did take like a, a two hour nap. Does that count? You just stopped on the road? You just nap on the highway? Is that your vibe? Why not? I'm asking. Oh, why know. not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where do you pull? Taking a nap. Would you just do the, the rest area? Yeah. You don't do that at the rest area. Where do you? you so where's the nap? Well, I would do the, I would do it at a rest area, but you have, to be care- you have to know where the rest hour, uh, they are. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out the strategy. some of them don't, like in New Jersey, their resting areas, oh my God, it's amazing. They have like food yeah. and stuff like that. And I mean like... Qual- it's not like you're going to a vending machine. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Food. No, they're but good. But when you hit a certain point, like, and you, I think. Because you're on 95 yeah, the whole yeah. rip. Uh-huh. It goes to, like, rest areas just like a bathroom. <laughs> Le- yeah, legit. After after DC on that trip, I don't even know what's what happens. You have DC. Because then you start hitting the Carolinas. Yeah, yeah. You hit the But you're not going through anything Maine at that point. Because all the Carolina mm-hmm. cities are inland. Mm-hmm. Are closer to the shore. And then. I haven't so done that drive. It's for, like, Four years. You're from New Jersey. That's what Originally, it is. Yeah. Nice. Whereabouts? South Jersey. Exit one on the turnpike. <laughs> okay. Is that close to Philly? It is. Thirty okay. minutes. Okay. So do you? How come? Uh, how come how you? Come. How come you guys don't like just become Philly? Why don't you just? Why don't you like claim Philly? Because I'm a Jersey person. Yeah, but I don't. This is the thing about Jersey. I never get. It's like you're either you're either uh, uh, clamping up against New York City, or you're clamping up against Atlantic City, or you're clamping up against Philly. Uh, but you, but it's like, but the claims are not that you're like a suburb of Philly, even though some people that live there might be making all their money in Philly. Um, I always say that New Jersey is the elbow state. <laughs> okay. Cause it looks like an it elbow. It does look like an elbow. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you can't like have an elbow without an elbow. Right. What does that mean? <laughs> I thought that like was, it's I thought a joint. Was, uh, <laughs> I think you, you can't have an arm with that level. You said you can't have an elbow. You with can't that have a, a <laughs> joint with it at all. Yeah. Like the elbow is a joint. So like if it would blend into like Philadelphia or like Pennsylvania or New York, then you wouldn't have a joint no more. So there's no arm. I don't know. I think you. Have, I think you've. I think you've outsmarted me somehow. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I'm now I'm confused. You. Um, <laughs> But I couldn't figure out boy, girl, girl either. So maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Um, all right. Well, that's cool. So then, uh, so how long are you staying? When do you leave? I leave on Sunday. You do. You just boogie the fuck out. Oh yeah, I mean, as I leave. I over. leave so early. Everyone else is still sleeping. Yeah. I'm done. Right, what's the shenanigans of AVN for you? Because this is the thing that I, there's there's a lot of claims 
the shenanigans are happening. But I haven't I haven't met anybody who's actually shenaniganing. Wait, what's this? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so party, they, adverti- like, they like, advertise this thing like a crazy uh, party and like you know there all is the parties. things. I got yeah. invited to a party. But did you go? A VIP party. <laughs> I like how you said a VIP party. Yeah, like hold on, let's see. Like evil angel invited me, and I have to wear this to get in. Oh, is that right? Yeah, don't snatch it away from me. So the um. But so I mean, are you doing? Are you gonna do all that? Are you gonna do all that stuff? Are you doing all yeah, that? Yeah, I guess uh, last night I did a party. Okay, BBW I awards party. I did a BBW um, awards, and then I went to. I hosted a party at the barber shop in nice. Cosmo, a whiskey bar. That's cool. Um, I did that, and then I woke up this morning and I shot. I I shot. <laughs> I performed. Yeah. Performed today. Um. And then. Are you what? staying in the building? Yeah. Nice. Um, but I'll probably do that. Um, what's it? What do I have to say? I have, oh, I have the VIP, uh, sweet party tonight. Yeah. Nice. And then I have, I'll probably do evil angel tomorrow and then I'm hosting a party on Friday. Nice. Can I come? Uh, of course. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> let me know. I'll put your name on the list. Nice. What did I see? I saw something weird. There's something weird. Uh, oh, Steve Aoki's here this weekend. Oh, really? Who I've never seen. And he's at one of these. He's at one of these clubs that I that I oddly have a connection to. Have you seen this? Mm. This is like this is like one of the main. This is like, like the David <laughs> Copperfield of like of like DJs. Oh really? Isn't he? I don't I don't know DJs that much. No, good. No, I like I that only, you don't. I only like uh, I only like Pandora. Is that right? <laughs> That's my which, DJ. What's your go-to Pandora? Right now, I've been uh, doing uh, my thumbprint. What? What is my thumbprint? So you, uh, so if you, I, th- I think it's a service if you pay for Pandora because I pay for Pandora, but they make you can make a radio station of the, your thumbprint. So everything that you put a thumb like a thumbs up will play on that oh. that radio station. So I I play that and then I get like my alternative nineties. Are you v- are you vigilant about finding the, the thumb oh, yeah. when it when it oh, comes yeah. up? Yeah. I yell at my phone like like when it plays something good or wherever I'm in the room I'm like thumbs up, Siri thumbs up. And then because like yeah whatever because they'll pop it yeah yeah well my echo will give me a, a thumbs up on this station I didn't know that was a choice yeah you can do it and like I get like my nineties I get uh my metal <laughs> and then I get like all of a sudden opera will come up or something it's yeah yeah you fuck with opera yeah I used to be a, a dancer so no. and, and ballet. so you like classical music mm-hmm. that's great. I don't know. I have no classical music memorized. I couldn't tell you what what anything okay. was. I had to do. I was in an opera once. And I had did to you l- sing? I did not sing. I had to be. I had to walk across the stage <laughs> on beat <laughs> at one of the on a particular time in La Boheme, and so I have that aria memorized because I knew I had to walk out at this time and step on this and I had to be here by this point. Do you sing opera? Why did you? I do not sing. Oh, I'm a backup dancer. You were gonna. Cha- you were gonna challenge I dance. me. I dance. I dance. You were gonna challenge me to a. Uh, no, I would just be like, oh, we should hear you sing. To an opera off. Uh, opera I did one the other day. Oh, that's what it was. I couldn't think of this the other day. I did a Lizzo. I did Lizzo. I did an operatic version of Lizzo, um, with uh, with the line about um, uh, if, if walk your fine ass out the door. <laughs> so I, I, I tried to Im- I tried to emulate the gr- one of the great tenors, one of the great Italian tenors. So wait, are you are you legit? Uh, I mean, you're am I legit? No, I, I didn't finish the a sentence. I don't don't like no legit. don't no no. <laughs> are you Irish? Yes. You've, okay, because you're matching all the Irish things. I am forty uh, percent Irish. Okay, what's the rest of it? Just I other am white stuff? German. Okay. I'm about uh, twenty twenty five percent German. Okay. I am also English. Yeah. More of the Wales area. And okay. I think I'm like um, maybe ten percent that, and then the rest is like a little sliver of like French and literally all the white stuff. Just just little, yeah. You got all the white stuff. That's yeah. great. Um, That's really I funny. Th- obviously, I'm white. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got the ginger. So you're natural yeah. ginger. Mm-hmm. Did you did you feel was there a point in your life when you felt like this was a um, uh, a disadvantage? God, man, who doesn't feel like that in life? I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, I'm not a ginger, so like, my, like, I had my on. own. I'm like, you did go through high school, right? You yeah. Well, I had like my own. <laughs> I had my own disadvantages. Yeah. So is there a moment where like, where, yeah, we're being the red? But it's like, I feel but like also, if you're the only like red haired girl. But if you're the only red haired girl, you could also be the coolest person in town. Um, I don't know. Because everybody I wants I it. I always, I always thought, I always thought my tallness was like a disadvantage at one point. Were you always taller always than everybody? Tall. Always tall. And then how tall are you now? I'm five ten. Okay, so when did when did the boys catch up? Uh, tenth, <laughs> eleventh grade. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's. Th- I guess that's the hardest one. 
is the tall. Yeah. Just thinking back really to hard. who the tall girls were. Yeah, they used to be. They would, they would, they would call me names. What they say? They call me a uh, jolly green giant. Really? Yeah. But you're so red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah obviously, I love, I'm like <laughs> a carrot. <laughs> what is um? What, did you did you play sports? Did you do anything with this five ten? Um, I I was a dancer. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, starting at ten. Five ten looks good on stage. Five ten looks good on camera. Does it? <laughs> I mean, I that's why, that's why we're here, right? <laughs> I always have people come up to me and they're like, "You're taller than what I thought." You oh, would I be. thought they were. I thought, <laughs> I thought they were gonna come up to you and be like, "Are you really five ten in LA? <laughs> <laughs> You're taller than I thought. Yeah, I don't know. Do you? Yeah, is your? Um, I don't have the time to to like heavily research everybody. I'm aware of you, right? And I and, and I've met you several times. Mm -hmm. But is your uh, you're not typecast as the tall girl in the no. right? I'm more typecast as the ginger. Yeah. So that's, that's that comes that's, first. That comes first. So redhead comes first. Yeah. Are you then obligated because you have red hair to be to to have pubic hair? Is this a yeah. thing? Well, I have pubic hair as well because I'm a MILF. Yeah. So then so okay. my tight casting is ginger and MILF. Got it. So have the fire crotch, for yeah. lack of a better term. Hopefully that's not offensive. I like to call it the fire bush. Okay. I like that. Yeah. They mentioned me in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the burning bush. Uh, whatever. <laughs> It's the, the fire. The fire <laughs> bush. Yeah, you can call it the burning bush. That's fun. <laughs> I like that. Um, that's really. This fun. sounds really wrong. Yeah. You don't want anything burning down there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but although, although that is the entire uh, marketing team of Trojan for like five years with this fire and ice shit. Oh really? It's just condoms with you know, Ben I Gay had, on them. I just had like uh, I had a girl say that we're fire and ice. That's what she said because she was blue and I'm like yeah. I'm red and she's like we're fire and is ice she, and I was like, oh. Is she blue? She's a little blue kitty. Does she? She has blue hair. Yeah, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Blue lips. Um, no. She doesn't she's go. She's really white. She just goes. She doesn't. Like she I doesn't make her makeup look like she's frozen no. in ice. No. That would be really cool, though. <laughs> that would right? be cool if she could do that, and I <laughs> yeah. have like the like burning. Yeah, thing. that would be really cool. Let's get this. Let's start this scene. <laughs> Let's get this scene going. Well, that's cool. So what? <coughs> excuse me. So if you weren't gonna do porn, what would you have done? Um, I probably would have gotten married, had kids. Have a dance studio. Yep. Is there a part of you that that's still a thing no. eventually? No. Never? No. Oh, you brought it up. Don't get mad. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Don't get salty. Nah. No, never. No. Nah. What, what, what do you not see in marriage now? And I'm with you. Like, oh, I, I like there's a lot that's I wrong. I might get married one day. You don't want a dance studio? No. You don't anymore. want kids? No. What's the kids? Why, why not kids? Because I was a nanny and I, I, I raised oh. my kids. All my kids are done. They're done. You already did. I, it. I might not give birth to them, but yeah. I raised them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've changed that. so many diapers. Yeah. I was also I also worked at a preschool as well. Yeah. So I've changed. You've done you, you've done your part. Yeah. I potty trained a lot of people. Yeah. There's no I don't know. I think I think there's an arrogance for people that they need. They need it to be like their DNA. I I commend people yeah. that have kids. I think. It's a beautiful thing. It's very selfless. It's a very selfish thing. I don't think it thing. is. Really? I think it's selfish. Really? I, th I think what people are saying is that I can create with my genetic code a better person. That's what I think it is. Oh, really? And they want little really thems to run are, around. I never really think... Be, uh, I think it always depends on the baby if it's better than you. I, it doesn't end up being better than you, but that's <laughs> like that's the estimation is that like I get to like it's 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 the human legacy thing. It's like I get to carry on as long as there's another me running around. That's oh, the maybe. vibe. I never thought of that way. It's like I otherwise think, everybody would be adopting. Oh uh, man, I think I I'm gonna end the LP at yeah right here. Done. I don't need any. No more LPs. D, no, no more DNA running around for it's me. Funny. Nah, it's funny. That's funny. Although we're discontinued. we are in an interesting period of time where um, like cloning could become an actual possibility. So maybe maybe you die and somebody like snips your ear and go makes another. You don't know. There could be another. That'd be you really cool. Around. Hopefully they make me in a twin. <laughs> That'd be really cool. I have two of me at the same time. Two, oh, <laughs> just two two double up. That'd be really cool. Do you think? I, I wonder. Could do, that. do you think? Do you think you'd like your twin? I think I would. I think I would be that like sicko and be like, yeah, you should do porn too. And oh, whatever. We both did the same DNA. We like basically. It is the like, same DNA. Yeah. Yeah. Like we There's stay our room together. I yeah. would be like. Not so even that. I didn't know this about twins. If you mur like with forensic evidence, if I murder somebody and I have a twin and I leave all my DNA on the thing, they'll arrest. They can arrest my brother and they'll think that's him for the crime. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Same. It's identical DNA. I just I don't know. 
I I told I think I would love I think I would love her. I think she'd be like, oh. What would your What would your twin be named? All right. Well, I'm Lauren. Wren. How funny if it was Lauren and Lauren, but spelled differently. Lauren and Laura. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> no, like, the, there's no you in the Laura. Yeah. What if um What if you met What if somebody cloned you, unbeknownst to you, and you met the baby you that was coming up? Oh Do God. Do you think you'd love Do you think you'd love baby you? Um, We've gone down a weird path, but I like. I where know. We're at. <laughs> I don't know if I would like a baby me. Do I have to take care of it? <laughs> That's the question. Yeah, it's like, would you, would you want to, or would you just be happy be that somebody Auntie else Lauren. is? You'd be Auntie Lauren yeah, for yourself. I totally, I'd totally be Auntie Lauren. Hey. What do you think? And then, and then it's like, uh, how big of a gap would it have to be so that neither of you ever realizes that you're each other's clone, right? Like, if you didn't know, like once it got to a I certain age, like you would kind of notice. Be like, uh, I think you're always gonna. I, I would say it has to be at least a, what 20, 30 year difference for you not to notice because you'd be because you'll be there be there, you would because by the time they're you'd twenty you'd be fifty take. like just to let you know you'd probably do a double yeah. take you'd be like but then it would be like, like oh it's like me when I'm in my twenties yeah but it would be like oh we're in the same family so it makes sense yeah. right because I have to say like um, when I looked at baby pictures of me and yeah. then of my mom similar at one point I looked just like her. Yeah. They, I, they have this vibe with my grandfather. My my aunt is like obsessed with the fact that she thinks me and my grandpa uh, look the same. Like his young him is 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 me now, which I don't have it. I don't I don't I don't see it, but yeah. it's like it's not for me. Does that make you nervous what? sometimes? Like I don't want to look like my mom. Um, like at all. Like no, I'm my grandpa's crushing it. Yeah? Yeah. Is he like Agent like fine that. wine type? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. My he was he was like in that. his he was single in his seventies and still and still putting it. So my grandma died uh in, like in 2001 so this Aww, is 20 years sorry. ago thank you but so it's 20 years ago and then so he went five years six years of being single and just like and like not not being single sorry just being a widower and then finally he was like i'm still healthy like and then he asked my father permission if he could go date my dad was like yeah of course you can go date like so we know you love mom and so then in his <laughs> 70s he re-entered the dating pool and he was crushing it yeah yeah man how yeah. Well, he was his <laughs> his vibe was like I'm never going to get married again. I already did the thing. I already had a wife. She's gone. And his vibe was like I'm like I know he was a good dancer. So he would go to these cotillions and just and just spin old bitches. Yeah. Just spinning and dipping old bitches. Girls like the dance. Yeah. No, he was great. They they he was the he was the bull of the pack. He had like you know, like, like I think he would take me and my sister to like hang out because I think he was like, b like showing off, and we'd go to dinner at this place that is dancing, and then he like people would come up and like reserve their dance, be like Dick, later on can we can, and so <laughs> four or five like old ladies would come up and like reserve dances with him. It, it was nice to see. That's cute. Yeah. So I could. Feel. So I could, I could, I could see, I could see being my grandfather. Yeah. I'd be fine with that. Ugh. It's a good. I don't look like my mom at all. Yeah. Well, let's let's ever not watch this episode. Yeah. <laughs> no, she won't. She don't know the internet. Does your mom support you in your yeah. in your in your? She endeavors? picked out my um expos uh, nice. outfit actually. What was it? It was uh, a shiny red romper. Made out of. Material. <laughs> I have been seeing a lot. There's latex <laughs> leather. There's like it's just whatever. It's just no, it was it was a uh, sequin material. Type, yeah. <laughs> Made out of material, <laughs> human flesh, <laughs> meat I didn't packets. Ask them what it was. <laughs> Sugar it packets. It was shiny. It was just shiny. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're shiny. I feel like you're always shiny. I like to be shiny. Yeah, we were. You were. Uh, you were a trophy girl at the Ink Awards, which I was, was a very big night for me. Yeah. Um, because I got they let me they let me go on stage. You're always shiny. That was a very tall uh trophy girl crew. Yeah, really tall. Yeah, I didn't, I'm just really realizing tall. that. It was. I felt was, like I was gonna hit my because I put my it, heels on yeah. and I was like, "Holy shit!" No, no, we were right up there. I'm so I'm five eleven and I'm not wearing heels and I was right up there on on top of the ceiling the way they yeah. had that stage. Mm -hmm. It looks good though. It looks good from the floor. Yeah, all right, that's good to know. It does look good from the floor when you're I like basically up there. <laughs> when you're up there, what did you? Were you wearing? You must have been taller than me that night. I was. I was wearing my heels. Nice. I, I think I was like at least six two. Nice. And I had my. Uh, See-through uh, dress with a corset on. Nice. I wasn't shiny that time. See-through is shiny. I was just black. See-through is shiny, no? I was black. Every time the elevator opens, I want to see who it is. It's distracting. Yeah, it's like, oh, is it? And then I've had ep I've had episodes. Yeah, I've had episodes where I lost complete control because like all of the great people yeah. came out. Uh -oh, it's distracting. Look at <laughs> um, so okay. So so when did you quit your when did you quit your dance? Career, as we could Six years call ago. it, yeah? yeah, really, yeah. It'll be, uh, it'll be six years of, yeah. 
You miss six it. Six you do. You're counting. Do miss you're it. counting, so it sounds like you yeah, miss it. Yeah, I do. I feature. I'm starting to feature dance this year. Yeah, how's that? So it all, totally it all, different vibe, though. No, it is a different vibe. Like when like you, you were never a stripper before. I was never a stripper yeah. ever. So it's it's different. Like I did my first uh, feature dancing in Oklahoma City in December. Yeah, how was that? Deja vu. Deja vu Very and cool. uh, Little Darlings. Oh, you did them both. Mm-hmm. And was there? Did you stir up controversy? Are you allowed to do both? Yeah. It doesn't matter. No, th- it's owned by the same person. It's like oh, they're connected. Oh, 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 oh. So, one so you do is, Thursday and one of Friday. One is an alcohol uh, bar. So you Bottoms can, only. So ta- yeah, you, could, you, can't, you, can, you can't even show your nipples. You had to put pasties on. Oh, no shit. I didn't and know then that. The other Oklahoma because it's such a Midwest place. And then the other one is a complete sober bar. But you can see. be completely nude. Right. So basically what, what usually goes on is they go to Little Darlings. Woo! And then that closes. I think uh, they have to stop serving. Oh, after same like, night. Yeah. And then wow. once that stops, they all come to d- uh, Deja Vu. And they're all, yeah. Oh, so, they're all, so they are. De- Deja Vu doesn't close until four. So they show up seven. wasted, though. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the loophole. Yeah. Oh, wow. I never thought of that. <laughs> so there's no more drinking, but yeah. they're already, they've already been drinking. Yeah, they can sober up while they watch that. girls. What was that? Oh my God! It was in December. Um, just like just five minutes ago. Yeah, basically. Yeah. When uh, when do you go back there? Um, uh, I don't know. It's it's just um when it comes to feature dancing and just when uh when they book you. Like right now, my next I have uh, two feature dancings in February. I have one the seventh and the eighth, uh, in Arizona at Tens Show Club. Okay. So this and is a new then, whole new chapter. Yeah, it's a whole new chapter. It's just something to learn. Like yeah. uh, I I don't know a lot of pole. Very, yeah. Very so what's much. your so you're coming in as a sidestep. So I've been to these I've been to these nights. And so the girls who are like stripper strippers for a living, mm-hmm. uh, very different vibe of what they're doing on stage yeah. as to what the feature. Would. So what are you trying? Do you want to match their energy or do you just want to be like, I'm I'm famous feature dancer coming? Energy. Yeah. There's I I am really about supporting the house house girls there because yeah. I'm not there to take money away right. from them. I'm there to make money and have them like I warm them up and they go and they can yeah. get their get the there's, you know. There's some beautiful stripper politics that I saw during Exotica last year, where uh, a girl from Vegas who makes her money as a stripper came out, like went to Sapphire, like got clients throughout the week and then she basically promises clients f- like like first spot in line with yeah. the feature dancer told the feature dancers got tipped out by the feature dancer got tipped out by her clients they all went and got dances from the feature dancers mm-hmm. privates so she got paid twice to not have to do that dance it was brilliant it was fun yeah. to watch I and then like they were all working together it was I great feel like we, no, i feel like it should be like that it yes. should work through. like when i'm there like when i was in oklahoma city when i wasn't dancing um up there i i would take a break and what i would do is i would go and start tipping the house yeah. girls. And I feel like it's almost like a, a domino effect. When pe- yes. Especially when they see a, another girl and tipping. And there's nothing, as it, like, let's pretend like I have no idea what the stripper politics are. As, as, a, as an outsider watching the thing, to watch others, to watch strippers go up to the feature dancer and like and like play with her and throw her money and whatever the thing is. Like, mm-hmm. so, you know, whether it's making out or whatever the whatever the game is that, that you're comfortable with, it's, it's, it's like a whole other level yeah. for the audience. Yeah, it's, um, it was my experience is really nice. And I know that a lot of the girls there were very excited. to. S- yeah, they were shocked to see me. T- I tipped right. every night. Yeah, well, because I've seen I've seen people just come to the thing, just do their spot and then get the fuck out yeah. and then not ever interact with anybody. And mm-hmm. it's, it's not the way to do it. No. And then I um, I also tipped both. I, I tipped all of the DJs yeah. as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was fun. So like. It's just a learning. It's a learning curve. Like uh, yeah. I'm bringing out. I'm bringing what I've learned in dance. So yeah. like I, I always have a theme, and I always have almost like um, I don't want to say musical theater, but like an acting type thing. Like I have a th- like right now. I have to get ready <laughs> for my other shows, and I'm gonna do like a Jessica Rabbit theme for Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And then I have like I'm getting like a nice Jessica Rabbit like from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. And then I have another one where it's gonna be a basically uh, a romance theme. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just different. Like when I went there, I catered. I did um, Christmas theme. I had two Christmas theme songs, and then I catered to the audience, to Oklahoma. So I did a whole country, uh, a country yeah, theme. Yeah. That's great. So, that's great. Yeah, there's uh, the the strip club politics are notoriously. It's like the house wants to create controversy with the employees so that they don't ever get questioned for their for their kind of crap. <laughs> so. 
it's it's uh to to like come outside of that uh and solve that problem is is, is always really is always really good yeah. because if you can get everybody on the on the one side on your team then you're in you're in good shape so that's yeah, cool. I always feel like uh, I believe in the a thing called the financial circle. I if I can give to my community, uh, karma will come back and sure. will come back to me, and it's always it's worked out for me. Yeah. Okay. So, so just be tipping, just be tipping people. You're a good yeah, tipper. Tipping bitches. Tipping these bitches. <laughs> well, that's cool. What <laughs> else? Okay. So outside of porn, outside of dance, and the, what are, what are your interests at this point? Um, like my goals. Um, goals. But what are you what are you doing? Uh, if I'm you're working, not shooting, you're not I'm whatever. Hustling. Yeah, but if you're not <laughs> hustling, like when you got that day off, what's the? Um, I usually uh, I schedule time for myself every morning. So I I like I wake up at four a.m. every I day. Get, yeah, except for Saturdays. Or uh, like if I have to shoot, like and I can't, I'll go to the. I wake up at four and I go to the gym at five. No shit. And I'm there until like seven. No usually. shit. So that's my that's like my time. I yeah. do that. I do that every day. Like I'll even try to like schedule time to go to the gym while I'm here. It's like yeah. me time. Um, but usually like I love watching movies and, you know, watching like some TV shows. What I, have like, you seen lately? That's, um, Oh, I just watched. It's funny. Cause I was on, I was on airplane when I watched it, yeah. but I, I love the airplane. Lo- cause it, cause it's like, it's the shit that's not in theaters. Yeah. It's not at Netflix yet. It's some shit you didn't want to see. Cause it was like a, a thing to go to, but now it's here in front yeah. of you. So you'll watch it. So I saw a uh, rocket man with, uh, Alan how good John- was that? Oh, it was so how good. good. Was that? And it was, it, it was an eye opener. And I love that actor. Yeah. He got, he won an award. Yeah. He's good. So like, he's good. I, I've been going through like a phase of watching like, uh, real life stuff. Yeah. So like I loved Bohemian Rhapsody. Sure. I started watching. Uh, it's called um, Our Finest. Our Finest. Our Braves or something. Our Finest Braves. And what it's about is the the hot shots in California that help with the fires. Oh, and basically no shit. back uh, uh, a while back ago, there was a hot hot shot group that basically got caught in a fire and they like. Yes, died. I saw this one. It's Miles Teller's in this movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's this movie called? It's uh. I'm gonna look something it up. Something Braves. Yeah, I think Our you're right. Something Braves. Let's see, Miles. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do it by by the guy. But it's uh. You, you wait. You said you start started watching. You haven't seen I the s- end of it. I know. I saw it. Oh. I've saw it a couple of times already. Yeah. Are we trying not to? We're trying not to ruin it for people. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it. Anymore. You got to watch it. Because it's yeah. So do you find that if if you can find that it really happened, you're more only the brave. Only the brave. There we <coughs> go. How do you find close? that if it really happened, do you find like are you more um, in tune with it somehow? I feel like it. Um, yeah, because I I feel like it it shows that the fragility of life sometimes, and that we're all human. Yeah. And that we should appreciate what's around us. Yeah. And um, just take moments sometimes to kind of look around and be like, like, I, I have moments throughout life. And it's just it could be just thinking I'm like, holy fucking shit. Did I really think when I was like ni- 18, 19 years old that I would be living in Los Angeles as an adult star? Right. With my own business. And like, I've never yeah. in a thousand. Like, I never thought that how did you get to this moment um i actually was i was a professional dancer yeah and i started losing the love for my art and i okay. don't want that I don't, yeah. want, I don't want to hate my what my was passion. the what were the things that were making were getting in the way it was starting to feel like work yeah you know when you have you're you're only as an artist you're only making a certain amount of money you know you weren't only making a certain amount of money yeah so i'm working like two three other jobs on top of it right and you're trying to like you know i'm in my 20s at that point and i'm like trying to make a living and it's, um, not, and it's not working and yeah you're living paycheck to paycheck you don't want to i don't i didn't want to be like that other i know people what were your do that. dancing gigs um i was a backup dancer for a tina turner impersonator <laughs> okay i was in la no i was um no, that was for that was in New Jersey. No shit. Yeah, Tina we would go Turner. all up the East Coast. No shit. Did mm-hmm. Tina Turner have a white band? Yeah, I didn't know that. She uh, she had uh, and and the girl actually sung like she didn't yeah. lip sing. Right, Tina. She was good. Yeah, she was really good. Yeah. Um, and then I was a modern dancer in a company. Okay. I was a dance teacher. Okay. And I think at that time I was a nanny, so that was like my yeah. <laughs> right. So you're doing all this stuff with kids. Yeah. Are you teaching kids or adults? I was ke- uh, teaching kids. How was that, though? Oh, I, 
Yeah? Yeah. So it's like, it could go either way, right? So it's like, if you take the art form too seriously, then it's then it's a pain in the ass because they're fucking it up. I think it's but hard when you don't know the business aspect. I wish when I went to college, I would have probably took a couple business classes. Yeah. And at the time, remember, social media wasn't at its peak like it is now. Right. You know, I think Twitter was a thing, and I didn't even have a Twitter. It wasn't for business. It wasn't for... I don't know Me. what it was for. Yeah, yeah it yeah, was yeah. just Twitter. It was yeah. there. And then Instagram was there, but it was there for like taking photos and kind of like yeah. showing your friends. It wasn't a business yeah, aspect. Yeah, I like think literally now. the pitch of Instagram was like, oh, it's Facebook without the wall. Yeah. I think that's literally like, like what we came into it as. Yeah, you just take pictures of like different yeah. experiences. And we're like, why is and this And you good? didn't live on your phone either like you do now. Like people are at concerts or at everything yeah. and they like, I, it, I had this conversation with somebody. I So I just got back from like London and Madrid. Yeah. And I went to the art museums. And um, which museum people, did you go to in London? Uh, I didn't. I I went. I didn't go to a museum in London. I went to Madrid. Madrid. Yeah. So you went to. I went to like the, the Gaudi Park and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Um, and people were asking to see some photos, and yeah. I was like, I didn't take any photos in the museum. Yeah. I don't do that. Right. Because well, yeah, because I, I it never occurs to me to take a photo in a museum. I feel like it's disrespectful. It's weird. If you want to see, go there and see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. Uh, I don't know. Just there was a time right before right before all the cell phones, though, was when everybody had their own camcorders. Yeah. So you'd go to my sister's re her, uh, uh, recitals and everybody would just camcorders like, you're not watching this shit. You're never going to watch this shit. And then we would record over it if like if Top Gun was on TV. Yeah. It's like all of I can't my, wait all, to see new Top Gun. Like all of my baseball <laughs> games are like have been erased. <laughs> you can't wait to see new Top Gun. I want to see. New yeah, Top I'm excited. Gun. I'm excited. Uh, Top Gun too. <laughs> yeah, they basically like um, they took they took Tom Cruise's character and they made him like uh, be jaded with life. It looks yeah. like. Yeah, that happens. He's still a badass because yeah. he like goes up and like fucks people up in the in the sky. But uh, <laughs> but I guess he's like he's like lost bag. he's lost his love. Yeah. He's not a douche. He was a douche and now he's not because you can't really be an old douche. I think that's the thing. You can't be that cocky and be like fifty. I think that's kind of the vibe, right? I guess so. It does it's, not, it's like it's not I acceptable. Don't know. I think there's some douchey people. I don't Who's think I don't I don't I don't put a, an age on douche. No, but I think I think be, when he was a douche and he was in his 20s, we were like, "Oh, that makes sense. He's, yeah, he's cool." Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah, but we like we were for him. I think if you're that same guy and you're in your 50s, we're like, "Dude, come on, man. You can't be this you, guy anymore." Why, why is your personality you so get fucked your up? Shit together. <laughs> How are you still this guy? Right? You can't be 60 and like <laughs> be running around like Doing fake like uh, karaoke scenes at the, <laughs> you know, what I just realized the other day that uh, that Goose like, I somehow I didn't realize that Goose like made it to be like a successful actor. He was the guy in in ER that I didn't yeah. realize was the same guy. Of course, I never you connected never that connected. piece. No. Whoa. He, he was crushing He was in it. other stuff too. Yeah, I never. I was ER wasn't my show, but I never know. But they removed the oh, mustache, I and I like loved, forgot who he was. I loved ER. Yeah. Oh, I watched all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's good. All right. How do we pay for your porn? How do we how do we follow you? How do we do all oh, the things? Um, you pay for my porn at laurenphillips.com or thefirebush.com. <laughs> <laughs> or you can, if you want to get all my links, you can go to lplinks with a Z. Nice. Dot com. Has all of them right there. Um, and then you can follow me on Lauren Fills Up. F-I-L-L-S-U-P. On all my social media. Twitter, Instagram, all, all the things. All TikTok, of you have a TikTok? Yep. I do. It's the do same think, thing. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. I have to get more active on it, though. Yeah, I find that I, wh when I put porn-related content on uh, on TikTok, it doesn't make it on. I think they're no, the most. No, because they're anti-porn. Yeah. I want to keep TikTok innocent, so I'm trying to, I'm going to use it as an influencing thing. Yeah. All right, we'll no. see if we can, uh, let's let's see if we can do some PG content right after this. I got a, I got a, I got a challenge for you here. Um, check out our episode. If you're on Google Play or iTunes, we're on the other one. If you switch platforms, uh, we've uh, got some content today from uh, YouTube. We're sponsored by Spunk Lube and Recrop broadcast by the DMC Radio Network. We drop a new episode every uh, Monday morning. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Uh, check out our Patreon. Let us know what you want to see that we're not doing. Thank you so much to my guest, Lauren Phillips. Thank you.